back. Come back out of that one. Right, so next one we've got is fridge, but d that doesn't apply to this particular model. Okay. That's the new ones this year. Lights does, so if you just tap on lights. Yeah, the gentleman the other day, his fingers didn't work. Mm. <laughs> right, so what we have got is some very similar to what you've got up here. Yeah. Okay, you can see them. What we've got also is two sliders. Yeah. You can see, they're for your dimmer level. So if you remember, when we operating the, the um, dimmer lights from up here, on yeah. the manual, it goes both up yeah. or down yeah. together. Here we can do separately. So dim one is above the bed, dim two is above our head here. Right. So if you just tap dim two, well, that switches off. Yeah, so we've gone off. Right. Switch it back on again. If you, if you just press the slider when it becomes clear, just press the slider on the bottom one. Oh. Bottom. Yeah, the bottom one. Sorry. You just tap, just tap it. Oh, that's it. You see, it's gone to hundred percent. You tap it. Just tap it. You can tap it if you wanted to. Or slide it. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you can do the same with the bedroom. So you can do them. Okay. At different levels if you want to. Obviously, you can switch them on and off as well. Buy them as well. Okay. Back. Yeah. So what have we got there? So aircon. You haven't got aircon apart from opening a door or window. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> just, just checking. Sometimes I look at. Oh no, we have. Right. So this one is the remote one. So we just tap on that to start with. I'm not explaining. Uh, there we go. What? So, excuse me. What's these lights that keep flashing? Yeah, down that's here? that's for your alarm. That's your PAR. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you can see, these are grey now. So we're not connected to our van at the moment. So what we need to do is connect to the van. So if you come back out of that one. When you say we're not connected to the van, what do you mean? Yeah, this is via internet now. Right, okay. So this is, where, this is when we talk to it remotely. Right, okay. So go to the picture of me. That's the one, good guess. <laughs> right, so what we want, if you remember, you registered with Swift Command. Yep. You had an email address and a password. Yeah. So all I need you to do is write the email address in, then your password. You don't need to do any of the other ones. And you may not want to record putting the password in, probably. <laughs> and hopefully you can remember your password. No, I have. I can't, but I brought my book. Yeah, because you need your password. I know my my wife's got a book because there's that many different things for passwords. Yeah. Because I have to keep asking, what was the password for this one again? And I can't remember. <laughs> password. You... Where's my handbag now? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Well, there's so many different things. They tell you don't put the same password in all these different things because you. Yes. Worse security if you do get to. Someone managed to get into it. That's not your van making that noise, by the way. No. It's a compressor. But you can feed it through the van. It's like, yep. Yeah. I just gotta find which one it is now. That's it. That's it. So when, just once you put that in, don't go any further because I'll just tell you where you go from there. It doesn't make a rattle at all. That. I could have put it behind another shed, wouldn't it really? Mm -hmm. it, it goes, the pipe work comes through the back of the shed and it just vibrates the, the shed when it, the, the compressor is actually outside the other side of the shed. How oh, is that? Yeah, it just vibrates the whole shed when it's... Oh, I'll go for that. Okay. Right, so you got, got your password in, yeah. yeah. So what we need to do now is press get vehicle, vehicle details, that grey bar. You're Hang on, get, get it back that? to me, Annie, so I can see what you're doing. Well, yeah. I didn't want to move anything, mate. Right. Okay. So you tap, get vehicle details, and then you'll see your your van will... Oh, let's have it again. Let's get some new fingers, there we go. So what should happen now is your van, there we go. So you, you Swift Conqueror, tap on that. that this goes, one? Yep. Yeah. This? That, yes. That jumps to the top of the page then. In a minute. <laughs> It's not like your screen's uh, easy to play, is it? Very easy. I think we, you're just getting a bit of movement going up or down, I think. Oh, there we go. Now, just press save, because it's to the top of the screen now. Press done. That's it. We come back out of there now. If you see, it's populated all the rest now. Yeah, so that does that for you. Okay. Come back out of there. On top again. There we go. Go back to that blue tile on the left hand side. This one? Yep. You can see these have lit up now. Okay. Okay, so we know we're connected now. All we need to do is just press update. You see these other grey ones, so we press update. What it's doing now is overriding the Bluetooth, so it's going via data signal now. Done. Okay, yep, done. We'll wait for that to talk to your van. Sometimes we have a bit of a problem because the van's in the shed, but... Hopefully we live out there we the, go. We yeah. live out in the sticks. This is fantastic. Right. Yeah, so what we've got now, so you remember we've got the... Yeah, this all is the where, This is where you talk to the heating. 
and the, and the lights. Right, remotely. okay. Okay, also it'll recognize where you are. So if you just tap locate, if you forget where you put your van, <laughs> oh, that, so, that so. should say, uh, yeah. Sabbath Leisure, open you are here. Minute. Yeah, <laughs> just, just screw oh, still wait, catch it up a bit, I think. We should see is uh, no one can see the mapping and see our, sh our shit next to it. So again, it might just be because of the signal here is not not brilliant. Okay, so it will it will show you. It's, yeah, that's show back. Yeah, there if you because you're struggling levels, that'll just show you battery level or whatever. And history will do exactly the same as that. If you can see, you've got the symbols for heating if it's operating yeah. or not. Yeah. Uh, dealer, that just shows our information as in uh, contact details. Yeah. And then web portal that will go back to your Swift command, uh, Swift command registration, the other website for that. Right. And go via that. Right. And via that you can, uh, I'm sure you can go via uh, register your tracker as well. Yeah. Okay. Have we got a tracker? There should be a tracker on board. Yes. Right. Yes. They they all come with a tracker on board. You need to subscribe to tracker. Right. Okay. So although we'll have one, you it's not activated unless you pay the money. Exactly. Basically. Yeah, exactly. I get, yeah. I get that. Okay, happy with that bit? Yeah. Okay. Right, just come back out of there. So once we've connected, we can also see other other features as well. Ooh. Right, we gonna... There we go. Right, so what we've got um, in the centre, that does the same, that goes to the Swift Command. Hang on. Oh. There we go, right. Um, what we've got is the manual, even though you've got the manual there, if you press that the button, yep, it recognises your caravan, you can obviously operate and uh, uh, see that through there if you wanted to. Yeah. Alerts, that bell. So it will send you alerts as well. If you just press load, that will wake it up. So top left, that's it. Done. So you could press that to give you alerts if your alarm went off. Okay. Um, there's one there I'd just be very cautious using. It says frost alerts. Yeah. Be very cautious how you use that one. Right. If you're relying on that to tell you your van is cold yeah. and your water's still in the van, yeah. you could be in trouble. Yeah, okay. okay. So just make sure you do drain it down like you normally do. Yeah. Okay. What we've also got, bottom left, if you just tap on that one. Right, so we've got Swift website, which you can get on the, on the web normally. Swift Talk is just a forum talking about Swift Caravans. Swift TV, that's the new models that will be coming up. Obviously, it's the this year's models on there at the moment. Next year, we'll be coming in around about September. Swift Connect, you can also see your, if you go via that. So what will happen with that, when the service obviously sends your details to Swift to say you are now the owner of the van, Obviously, warranty covered and everything else. That they will Swift will send you a username and password. You go onto there, you register with them. You can then see your um, what do you call it service record, yeah, okay. and things like that via yeah. that. Okay, and parts on order and anything else. And I think that's about it for that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're you're actually running on data at the moment instead of Bluetooth. But as soon as the screen goes black or blank, then that shuts it off anyway. Same with the Bluetooth. So so, you, what, do you want me to go into Bluetooth? No, 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 I'm just saying if once the screen goes blank, that will cut it off, kind okay. of thing, then you have to reconnect again. Okay. Same with the Bluetooth, it will do the same. So, why have I got about now and not back? No, because you're not on anything. Okay. Yeah, because if you tapped on one of them, then. then okay. Alright. There's enough information on that one for people playing with. Yeah. Yeah. So. Can that's I that's it, Yeah, that's it. That's, if you're happy with that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's there's plenty, plenty to be looking at, but at the end of the day, you don't have to. Um, go through all that if you don't want to. You get into your van. Obviously, we still got it on. Do you want me to change back to manual? Yes, please. Yeah. You see, the the problem is, as I've said, because we don't use the van often enough. Yeah. We get into you know press all the button mode. Yeah. Then, see what does. Oh, thank God. And then we haven't got a clue. Right. Oh, was not doing that. Oh, yeah, it's gone now. So if that little clock's on there, this will not switch on. It will come on for a second and go off. So right. just make sure, if you're you're playing with that, just make sure that little clock's off. And then you know you can operate it by the actual... And the, one, and the one on the left is for heating and water. Yes. Yeah, so that controls that unit which is sitting in that corner. Yeah. You switch that, I see it, just press that on. And normally when it comes back to uh, manual, if you press the menu button now, you'll see all the, all the figures gone down to quite low. So you just press the plus up or the water heating arm. So if you set it back to manual. So you can press and hold that plus sometimes and it'll, it'll go. Oh. A bit fiddly sometimes. You've got a nice finger in front of the screen now. <laughs> Lens. 
That's it, there we go. So you can increase that or decrease it, depending on the, how, it is a very good system. The heat actually comes up from behind the seats. Yeah. You see this here, so don't block that off. Don't block that gap, because that's where the heat comes from. Okay. Okay, so if you do put covers or throws over top, make sure they go down the back of the cushion here, not right. into that space there. Okay. okay. Also, down the bottom, you will see kind of gaps underneath the, right at the bottom there, that's where the air, obviously the cold air circulates into it, to be coming out warm air this top, this way, because the radiators are just sitting down. Okay. Right, fridge. There's your little appliances. So, no, nothing, too, nothing too complicated. Mm -hmm. oh. Nothing too complicated with this one. On off button there. Not like the new ones, you got you can operate them off the app, but not this, not this particular year. Good. On off button is that one there. Yeah. Switch electric on. Or switch gas on. Or 12 volts, that's 12 volts from the car. Yeah. Okay. If you're operating on gas and this happens, so I've just put, switched it to 12 volt, it's just showing me that there's no 12 volt to use because that would be coming from the car. Obviously the car's yeah. not attached, the yeah. engine's not running. Yeah. If it's doing that on the gas, that means the gas either you haven't switched it on, or you haven't got any gas, or there may be just a bit of air in your system. So you check them things, press that button and it will re-attempt to light it. If it does it again, just press the button again. It may just be you run out of gas. Okay, but normally, most of the time, it'll, it'll be on that. It'll yeah. be on electric. This side is your temperature range. So that's your button there. Yeah. All five lit, that's the coldest setting. Yeah. So depending where you are and how warm it is, that's about right. Okay. One thing I like about this is that is not spring loaded. Yeah. So when you're in storage, you're not using it, you can leave that leave it open. open. It's not, you're not having to wedge anything in it to yeah, stop, to it, from, stop, it, <laughs> stop yeah. it from going all mouldy around, around the seals. Also, if you can see, oops, if you can see the uh, picture on there, you can actually take this out yeah. and that out if you want to at all the fridge. Yeah. Now you want to do that. No, you know, if you want ice, obviously it's ice for the drinks. <laughs> it's there. It's there. Right. It's what we want. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, cooker. Probably slightly different than your last one, but this this one, if lids down, it yeah. says there, gas is off for the cooker. Yeah. So there's no gas for the grill or oven if that is down. Yeah, but so, I thought that's the same as the last one. Yeah, some, some do, some don't. What we've got is igniter there. Yeah. Okay. What's that one? It's, the back it's, it's uh, the, like you got it's electric. Like electric. Yeah, so you've got electric one. So that's a control for there. Indicator light there. Be very cautious when you're using that. Because obviously, of that. that will stay warm a lot longer. Yeah. And then obviously, you can Smash. damage that. Yeah. yeah. It'll just shatter into yeah. it. Yeah. What well, you've also got button this side. You can see the oven. Yeah. So as soon as you take your finger off, light goes out. Okay? Right. And what it does also, even though you can ignite it from this button here, the oven itself, press the, press the button control in, and if you have a look down there, you can, can't see a burner at the back, it's now underneath the plate yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So that igniter, you know, it's like igniting everything else at the same time yeah. too. Or set the igniter for everything else. Right. Well, what, when you say that you put the light on, yes. the light doesn't stay on all no, the time. No. So when you're cooking, it doesn't stay on. No. No, okay. so it's just press to look. Yeah, see what's going on. Otherwise, if someone, Whether guarantee someone will leave it switched on and the battery will be flat and yeah. you'll be in trouble. Yeah. Okay, grill, same again. You've got handles just inside there. Yeah. Decent sized grill pan now compared yeah, to what the. <laughs> yeah, to, well, you have one piece of bread on it if you wanted to, or a couple of pieces of bacon. You're trying to feed, five, uh, feed the 5,000. Okay, microwave. Big button opens it. It is. What's up with that? If it's been, oh, there we go. Right. So, glass plate, obviously if you move off site, make sure the glass plate is not in there. Don't want to be bouncing around and yeah. uh, coming and dropping we'll on that. here. We'll yeah, so take it out now, yeah. yeah. So, oh, I'm trying to consume you in here. If you just put it on the that side, just sneak it under the uh, cushion for now. All right, to operate it, that control does nothing on its own. Press the microwave button once. Yeah. That's your power then. So turn that, you've got 100%, 80%, whatever you want to power it up on. Second time you press the microwave button, then it, you can do that for seconds. Okay, then you just press start where it goes. Also, we got a quick start on the start button, which is about one minute increments. So if you want two minutes, press it twice or oh, not all once. Yeah. Okay, off it goes itself. Yeah. Okay. What's that there? Defrost at? by weight. Yeah. So there's obviously a lot of other other things there. Auto menu as well. Right, but basically, if I want to. Where should this be? Like yeah, so that. that does nothing without pressing something. So okay. if, say you want to press auto menu. So you've got auto menu one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Right. So you need to press a, to, for that to do anything. You need to press a, a button. Right. Okay. And then it will. So if I just up. want to micro, mi microwave something for two minutes, you can just press twice. Quick start twice. Yeah. That's off it goes. That's it. 
Right, thank you. Good. Right, we'll put that down to the one that bouncing around as we go along. Inside your inside your uh, wardrobe, Sorry. you see the expansion tank for the heating. Okay. Yeah. So that that fluid that's going around the van to yeah. warm it up is an antifreeze mix. Yeah. Okay, that is the expansion tank. You can, it's difficult to see from here. There is a minimum mark and a maximum mark on yeah, there. Yeah, I can see. You can yeah. see, yeah. Yeah. So obviously it needs to be about a finger width above minimum before you start. Obviously as it warms up, it expands into the tank. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Don't overflow it. It could overfill it if you do decide, decide to top it up because it may overflow. The top bit there will, if you need to top it up, that the plastic bit on the cross. Oh, the this? Top of the breather pipe, yeah, that just pulls away. And there's a little screw cap. And obviously you can just top it up by there. And what goes in there? What does water? Anti antifreeze mix. So you, you can buy it already mixed in the, in the shop if you wanted to. If you did top it up with water, obviously that is diluting it. So similarly, if you do that with your car and you have a, and it uh, freezes yeah. really bad, then uh, obviously diluting right. it doesn't do it any good. So when we want to top it up, we want uh, an antifreeze mix that we can yeah. buy in the shop, yes. and we do it via that top little plastic thing. Yeah, so you just, that bit just pulls away, and yeah. you'll, you'll see the you, cap. Yeah, you just unscrew and top it up. Right, but don't overfill it. Right. So no, when, when it's cold, when it's cold, you can just fill it halfway between the minimum maximum mark that should be sufficient yeah okay okay directional aerial that should look pretty yeah, similar with a thought yeah yeah Don't run and then that. the the um booster is that, the, that yeah that no, the, the, the booster should be in the, the little cupboard above the fridge i would have thought just have a look in there is it in there yeah yeah so the booster for the tv aerial is in, in there okay so clearly hidden away from the aerial. yeah right okay you'll well, see so the bathroom shouldn't be anything too too different or complicated this is the idiot's guide, we did tell you. <laughs> so electric flush, oh. I would expect you would have had that in your last bag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so normally that's, that sound means you've got no, yeah. no flush water in yeah. there. Indicator light there, that's to yeah. say, waste tank full. Yeah. Okay, obviously it does swivel, to, obviously to make it to fit into the most narrowest of places. And then wastegate, yeah. obviously open it, use it, flush it, close it. Obviously make sure it's closed when you're trying to take the waste container out as well. Because it won't, yeah. don't won't try and force it out. Yeah. yeah. And then just, re just remind everybody who's in here when you're going up to uh, empty it. Not to use not it. To yeah, use not to use it. it, or you end up with a nice little present when you come back. <laughs> okay. Is there a heated towel rail there? Uh, yeah. What operates that? that? That's going for the, the system. Oh, right. Yeah, so that, okay. the, the, the Aldi system that's uh, heating the yeah. water and everything else obviously that's runs a, through that as well. That's a light switch there, is it? Yeah, so that's a light switch for your bathroom. Okay. Okay, also we've got a little catch here for holding the, the door open when you're travelling. Obviously if you're on site you can just leave it open like that and it'll just slide yeah. in. But that locks it to, for, for travelling. Okay. Okay, nothing too complicated in here. Obviously mix a tap. Head for the shower. It has got an on off button there. Yeah. Obviously for winter make sure that is all drained down. Don't let any water held in there. It's best to take that off. Make sure that is open and then drain it all down. Okay. Alright. Okay. Where about you have your van side? Well, we. You have a den at Ludlow. It's only going to be at Ludlow oh, yeah. because our parents are elderly and we need a base that's not. means that we're not travelling so far every oh, time we go good. and visit them. Yeah, that's good. What on the. On the what site? Wheat, Wheat Hill. Yeah. It's between. It's, it's at Wheat Hill. It, no, in fact, it's called. Yeah, Wheat Hill site. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. between Ludlow and Bridge North. Alright. Oh, I've been to Ludlow, there's a Morris side in Ludlow, or just on the outside, I'm just going to Ludlow. Oh, sorry, I need to sit down again. Okay, right. Oh, that's everything right. you may or may not want to know. No, you no, no, no. Right, I've got the other thing, that's obviously TV part, I've just realised. Um, that, that aerial there is the external aerial. Okay, that point, that point there, that is your in onboard aerial. So that one there, onboard aerial, that one there is the connection through your, through your battery box. Okay. And obviously, right. what we haven't done is the uh, consumer unit. What, what do you mean the collection for the battery box? What, what's the, the connection. connection? The connection. You're the one, the external aerial. Yeah, down there by yeah. the electricity. That's it. That the top one is that. Okay. Yeah, the bottom one is the one on board aerial. So if you want to connect to your site, yeah, is the top aerial point there. The bottom one is the, as I said, on on the top. Okay. Right. Yeah. We'll just see here. It should be. Right. Now, when you talk about draining the system down, yes. what we need to know is, what do you do? And Stuart will say he knows what he's doing. Okay. But <laughs> we get to the situation whereby when we start putting the water... Well, we had, in the before, we had a water tank. Yes. What, we need to know where the buttons need to be 
after yeah. it's been drained down before we start using it for the season yeah. again. Right, well, under here in a minute, I'll just show you that in a second. Okay. Right, so what we've got here, if you can see that there, that is your, an aerial, which you can obviously connect to that. You can use an ordinary aerial cable out of that. You know, instead of the screwy one, you've got the adapter there, look. So you've got a yeah. screwy end there. The ordinary just pushing for that one there. And also you've got another adapter there as well. Also, gas barbecue point is that one there. Yeah. So your gas barbecue point outside, that's the fitting for that as well. Okay. Okay. So that has to go into the. Yeah. Into so the... that goes into your pipe. So your pipe you would have on a gas barbecue. Right. Jubilee clip that that into your pipe, and then mm -hmm. that just clicks into the outside. Right. Okay. I know you know we're being really dim, but. No, 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 it's, you know, it's just you, the You're way best it to have is. it clear in your head than, uh, than not. Right, down here, it's your unit and drain down. So, and also keep up your move as well. So, the drain down is that yellow lever there, look. See that? Right, okay. Yeah, so that is your drain down. That drains down your boiler and the tap system. So, hot and cold water comes out of that hole there and underneath the van. Right, so okay. underneath that yellow clip. Yeah, it's just a pipe going out down through the floor yeah right onto the ground outside right okay, okay so the position it's in at the moment is closed okay so it's flat yeah so it's flat it's closed that's allowing water to run around the system and out through your taps yeah and if right. you push if it, it up if it yeah if you leave it it's pointed upwards that's drained down so what you need to do at the same time is open all the taps to center right then that will drain down through that through that there so when that yellow switch is in uh vertical yeah that's, that's, that's drained draining. down yeah. and the taps need to be open yeah open to center and that allows yeah. water okay you may, if you're sitting it on site it may be worth putting nose down and then nose up to just yeah, make to sure rock water, it, yeah to rock it yeah yeah so you put it down for yeah, a while yeah, then put it yeah, up. Yeah. what i tend to do is i drain it as i'm going home yeah as i leave site i open these up and as we're driving home that bit It'll, of movement yeah, helps to, yeah. to drain yeah down. okay okay just to see that there now this, yeah. this. Fix. yeah so this is your consumer unit yeah that looks it may look similar or slightly well, different yeah. it, very similar with the thought but it's they've the same, slightly but they've slightly exactly changed right. yeah they've slightly changed things as well heating and hot water hang on, hang on. that button there you probably had two before so we had heater and water yeah yeah now this one's one because we've got one unit that does heating and water now so if i switch that off have a look on the heating control panel on the right on the top right hand corner the little plugs disappeared no, on the on the silver one. On the silver one. That's the heating. Oh, and yeah, water. if I switch it on, look, I'll sh you see a little plug on the top right. No, there yeah. we go. So if that is not switched on, little yeah. plug's not on there. Yeah. That means you've got no electric to heat heat your boiler. Okay. okay? So one, check that. Yeah. And also ch obviously check you've got your electric plugged in and perhaps the bollard. Yeah. Because the bollard, yeah. you never know the bollard may have tripped as well. Yeah. And the green okay. button. So the green one is a charger. So your charge unit is sitting there. With that switched on, 240 connected, so your electric cable connected to the outside, it will charge your battery. Okay. Right. Okay. Then we've also got a reverse polarity. Unless you go on the continent, it's unlikely to see that unless you add a generator. No, that will light up normally on a reverse polarity. So on the continent, they wire things slightly different than what we do. Okay. And that will light up because of that. 240 trips, so very similar to your domestic. That should look pretty similar compared to your last one. Yeah. And then what we've also got 12 volt fuses, which are slightly different than your last one. The fuses would be exactly the same, but what you can see down there is a nice green light. Yeah. yeah. That is your charger fuse. So I switch that off now. So charger fuse gone, or you haven't got the electric, that little light won't be on. Okay? Right. Alongside each of the other fuses is a little red LED. If they yeah. light up, that's to say the fuse that is one's gone. gone. Yeah. Right. So that so you is know a good which indicator. fuse is gone yeah, by exactly. the little red light. But if the main that main green light that main green light is yeah. out, yeah. it means that either that fuse is gone, yeah. or you haven't got any electric connected right or okay. switched on on the outside of the van yeah okay okay we've also got see this in the right in the far corner system shutdown button that little black button yeah okay that shuts down the 12 volt system so when you're not using it and you want to keep the battery from die you know draining right down that will switch all the 12 volt systems off in your van obviously if you come to use it you obviously need to be switched on yeah um and I, and I think if you're trying to operate via the app, you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to operate it via the app if that was switched off. Right. Okay. Just tell, tell me what that button's called again. System shutdown. Right. So, so that's your 12 volt systems. Right. So but there's would... no need to switch that off then, really. No, no. If you've got it on site, you, you probably leave that on. But I'm I've... zoomed in again. Um, some people do that when they're in storage. Obviously, when they, they can't get electric to it, yeah. they can switch that off. Then the, the um, solar panel will keep it uh, trickle charging. Yeah. Okay. 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 So when we so 
Um, when we leave the van, say over winter, yeah. um, we we drain everything down. Yes. And th and that switch, that yellow switch, should be left how? I, I leave it open, so it's, it's pointing up. Right. Pointing okay. Up, and the taps left open as well. Right. Because if there's any, uh, there might be still a bit of water in there, and you shut everything yeah, back down again. It, it might push. Or, yeah. It tends to push things apart. Right. So when and so then when we come back to use the van again, you just put that yellow switch yeah, down put, again. Yeah. Level. Right. And in terms of these switches. What do we do with those? Yeah, well, if you're going away for a long period of time, you, if, do you disconnect your electric from your van when no. you leave it? You, no. leave it? you leave the cable connected? Yeah. What, even over winter? No. No, it can be brought back to our place at Oh, right. Winter. Yeah, so over winter, you, well, as soon as you unplug electric, these are going to go off anyway. Right. So if you leave it on when you're on site. Right. Yeah, you know, when, so when you're using it or when you're, um, say you've you've left it on site and then you're going home, then you come back again, say yeah. the fortnight's time or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you unplug the electric cable no. then? No. 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 Uh, I don't know. It depends what they say on on site, but you could switch you could switch them off. You, you could leave them on, but there shouldn't be any danger on anything overheating or anything like that. But right. it's probably safer really to switch things off or disconnect the cable. If you disconnect the cable, that's power off anyway. Yeah, as in the electric side of it. Right. So what what I'm saying is, when when we come back to the side, if we've disconnected everything, yeah, we put the electric back on. Yeah. Will all those lights automatically come back on? Yeah. If you haven't switched them on, yeah. Yeah, so I, you could, if, what I do, I don't switch mine off. But, right. So when I leave site, as soon as I plug, unplug it electric, they're off anyway, there's no supply yes. to them. And when yeah. you come back, you plug it back in. And they come on, back on, on and they, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. It. Yeah, automatically on. So there's no need to switch them on and off. Right. Well, there's no danger of, compared to your last van, if you had, uh, you had the boiler before, didn't you? If you left the electric on the boiler and there was no water in it, you yeah. were in trouble if you plugged electric back into it when there was no water in it. Right. But this is not that there's not that concern because this is a different way of heating it up. Right. Okay, so your previous boiler was like heating a kettle, you know, a yeah. an element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a totally different way of heating, so you've got no problem on there. If you've left the electric on and no water in it, you can actually operate that boiler with no water in it. What are you doing now, pressing buttons? <laughs> He's playing. Just seeing those switches. <laughs> yeah, so there's plenty of switches of uh, electric uh, light switches, so you've got the ones above, above your head. Is one. And which, which one do you That one there. Yeah. I'm just trying to think that one there. I think that one there is the all in night. Uh, all in Hang on. I need yeah, to change it. Yeah. The outside one is all in night. That one's here, as in entry light. And that is the one, it's a, which is your uh, dimble lights on the on the top there. You've got a splash back. Is there. Little tiny one here. Oh, it's got its own little switch. One above our heads is that one there. It has also got, as you can see at the end of the bunk here, there's a light switch on the top there, look. On the dashboard, on next to the socket. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That switches the one here. There's an aerial thing as well. Yeah, isn't so you got yeah, you've got another TV point there as well. But that's the onboard aerial one. From that as point opposed there. to your <laughs> yeah, it's hooking back, up to the yeah, site. Exactly. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, light switches for your bedroom is just on this number here. Look. Again, you've got another TV point there. So you got one which is the trigger one above the lockers, and that one is the floor light should be, which is down there. Then the spotlights are all individually switched as well. They've got little tiny rocker switches yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, and they've also got a little dimmer on them, so you can actually dim the little spotlights as well. But they're manual; you can't dim them via the dimmer on your app or anything like that. Okay. So it's just got a little nut. You see that there? Yeah. You just turn that, brightens it all. Hmm. And then that. Never knew that. <laughs> yeah. We've learned something today. We have. We've learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, the other thing now is the switch for the um... mover. Yeah. Yeah, that's just under here. So. Hang on. Just, you can just if you just open the front front flap on it, and you'll see that next to the consumer. That's okay. it there. Is yeah, it? that's it there. Yeah. So what does that do? That's the key point for your motor mover. So, so before it might have been in the battery box. That's where you put the key in and uh, power so it. So obviously pull that thing off. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's your little cover thing. Yeah. And then you, there's your key. You just that that when you switch that on, that puts power from your battery to your mover. Okay. You just turn it, uh, I say clockwise, but it's obviously flat, so it's, you got it? So, so you just push it in slightly and turn it, that's it. And then, that's it. Yeah. And back to the left, that's... And that switches it back off, well, that takes the power off it. I'll, I'll leave that in the off position for the time being. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to leave the key in it? Is that is that yeah, okay? Yeah, you can. You can. As long as it's switched off, yeah, it's fine to leave the key in it. I tend to do that on mine. 
Yeah, mine's on the inside as well. Right, is it one of these make into a bed or something? Yes, so there's the slats pull out, which is along the bottom there. That's it, that one. So that pulls across. Gently. Yeah, you can always get